if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is January the 4th, 2024, and today the topic is the triumph of turmoil. And it's Thursday, y'all. Happy Thursday. I hope that you guys had a wonderful Wednesday. Mine was just fine. I mean, yep, mine was fine overall. <laughs> Ended up being a rather emotional day for your girl. Um, things didn't necessarily plan out the way that I thought it would, but I'm grateful for the way that it did. Um, I have to give a shout out to my Mountain West family um, because, you know, several individuals... Um, throughout the week have really been, you know, stepping up and, and reaching out and encouraging and praying and, and things of that nature. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's greatly appreciated, you know. Um, I don't take it lightly uh, to know that I'm blessed to be in this position to um, receive, um, I guess, such camarader- camaraderie. Uh, alongside of work, you know, and I say that with quotes because y'all know how I feel, <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, uh, like I said, it was a, a emotional day, I wasn't, well, y'all know I was crying with y'all <laughs> yesterday, I thought, you know, maybe that was gonna be the only crying I did, uh, seems like I was crying all day yesterday, um, but I appreciate each and every you know, person that, you know, lended their ear, including my husband, um, you know, I appreciate each and every person that, you know, listened to me and my thoughts and, and things of that nature, you know, um, the good, solid advice of, uh, friends and whatnot as well, and like I said, Mountain West, they, they stood up, they, you know, even the pastor reached out and, and sent a message in regards to, you know, what he had heard about my cousin, and, you know, so, it, it, honestly, so what happened was, uh, to tell y'all what happened, um, I went to the church yesterday intending to go ahead and do my shift um, or do what whatever needed to be done so we could be ready for Sunday like I usually would do on a Thursday um, because, obviously, again, like I told y'all before, my, my cousin's funeral is today. Um but, I mean, I went and did all the things. I really had gusto on my heart and mind. So, um, when me and NJ finally, you know, left out and stuff, um, and then by the time I did get to the church, it was close to time for gusto to open. So, I was like, let me go get some gusto, and then I'll come on back to the church. So, I went and got some food, came on back, um, went into the church, ate a few bites of my food. And then um, went to go find uh, Pastor Key Wan because I just wanted to confirm some stuff with him. And this thing I know, um, I mean, it started off good. <laughs> like, he was telling me about, like, all these ideas and things he wanted me to do for this year and, and stuff like that. And I'm excited. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited uh, about 2024. Um, but again, like I was sharing with you guys yesterday, I think I've been sharing in, in some way ever since I came back, is that I've been feeling out of whack. And honestly, today, this morning, when I got ready to do the juice, it's the most me I felt um, getting ready to do this and stuff. And so, you know, I guess to God be the glory for uh, (laughs) feeling back like me, you know. Um, But yeah, so after we kind of chit-chatted about that, um, you know, I asked for prayer because him, him and his wife was there and whatnot. And I just was like, you know, I was asking for prayer. Um, 
And then just, you know, ended up having a good conversation with them. And they did end up praying. And um, I guess I was so emotional about everything and stuff like that to where they were like, just go home. Like, just don't even worry about this stuff here. Go back home. Rest. And, And even though, I mean, you know, again, I came with the intention to do what I was supposed to do, X, Y, and Z. But... I appreciate, um, I still appreciate that, you know, that they, that they, they are that way there, you know, and so, um, that's pretty much what yesterday looked like, I mean, I went (laughs) with the intention to do that, and then that's what happened in a nutshell, and I ended up coming on back, um, and stuff like that, um, like I said, I am feeling much better, I think my husband is feeling majority better as well, um, and stuff like that too but uh yeah yeah like I said there's just so much going on you know in my life at this one little time y'all and and I know you know I, again when you're going through things such as this right when you're going through turmoil you know it's hard to see the quote-unquote silver lining the positive the the uh, joy, right, that's in the midst of the trials and the tribulations of life. Um, I, here, I just, y'all just spent three days with me in the midst of whatever, like, funk I was in or whatever, dark cloud I was under or whatever y'all want to call it, right? Um, some may even call it a spiritual attack, you know, um, things of that nature as well. So, um and like I said, it's not easy, right? Now, yeah, I, you know, my heart and mind is tuned into the Lord. You know, my heart and mind is seeking the Lord. My heart and mind is is open to, you know, again, the Lord in the midst of my trials and tribulations. But again, like I was saying even the other day, like I don't know how inspiring and encouraging I was <laughs> over the past few days with the juice when I was in this low mental place, you know. Um, and then especially when there's so many different types of trials and tribulations happening in just my little life. Like, I don't even know, like, what everybody else is experiencing, right? This is just, like, my, my perspective of, of, of the things that's going on in my life. Like, you know, again, um, my cousin that we are celebrating today, you know, she did have a husband and, like, you know, Lord knows, um, yeah, hopefully we'll see him today and things like that and can and show him some love and, and things like that. But, um, you know, who I, I can't even imagine, you know what I'm saying? And and then, uh, you know, so, and I know people outside of our family are going through things as well. You know, um, there's a lot of, again, turmoil and, and trials and tribulations and all just all kinds of awful things that are going on in the world. And, <laughs> and I might sound crazy <laughs> out here and stuff to be sharing what I'm going to get ready to share today. But at the end of the day, again, I mean, what I'm sharing is biblical. <laughs> and um, and this is what the Bible's telling us to do. And um, this is what has given me uh, love, joy, hope, peace uh, in the midst of my uh, trials. And I hope that it will encourage and inspire you. So triumph and of or the triumph of turmoil. Um, I woke up this morning, uh, actually early. Actually, I wanted to tell y'all too, um, the past couple of days, um, even in spite of, again, all the stuff going on in my head and all the stuff I'm going through and, and all this different type of, uh, stuff. <laughs> um, I would say the last couple of mornings I did wake up at significant times and it was early, you know, and, um, those times did lead to some significant verses that reminded me that the Lord was with me and um, that I was not alone and that I'm actually, I guess, on the right track on some stuff. It made me feel like, and I'm like, okay, Lord, you know, thank you for that reminder and stuff. And I mean, I didn't share that with y'all because I guess that was just for me, but, um, you know, I did feel that shared with y'all this morning that, um, yeah, the, yesterday and today I, I was woke, woke up at significant times and received that. But, um, you know, um, I, I guess I would say today is that, you know, I listen to the prayer meditation like I do.
through every day and I did all of that. But I guess I just was, you know, really seeking the Lord about like, well, you know, what do you want me to talk about or show me, Lord, with all of this? I even took a break in the midst. I was looking into different things. I mean, obviously more so into this whole triumph and turmoil situation because those two words came into my heart and mind um, this morning. And when I looked them up, they were just so significant to me um, that I felt led to share them, which I will. And then um, at some point I ended up, you know, doing a little study into Jonah and whatnot as well. And so, um, I you know, I, I I do like to joke on Jonas, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, where, and who knows, maybe I'm a bit of a Jonah in some ways um, and stuff. But, you know, people that are running away, you know, or... But see, here's the thing about Jonah. He didn't want other people to be saved. Ain't that interesting? Yeah. All right. Now, listen, are you one of them people? <laughs> I mean, it, it's very interesting because it's like, and actually that kind of goes with the, the um, prayer meditation that I listened to today that was talking about um, our purpose and how basically all of our purposes stems on loving God and loving others, <laughs> loving our neighbor, which is others, <laughs> um, and stuff, and, and we can, we be struggling with the others sometimes, right, we be, like, picking and choosing who we want to, you know, show that grace and love to, and, um, a revelation I really, I received today in all of my different studying and whatnot, like, um, I came across the, uh, message, like, the, the different parables, and, um, the one about the, the uh the rich young man again, the one that was like, Oh God, what do I have to do? And he's telling them all the stuff to do. He's like, Oh, I do all of that. And he's like, Oh, well, you know, well, you're not perfect because, you know, what you need to do is put your all your riches to the side and follow me. And then the young man didn't want to do it. And um and then he goes on to say that, you know, it's easier for a I guess straw and camel or whatever the case is for the and for a rich person getting heaven y'all you know that verse or whatever or needle or however you say it and um and then um but as I was reading it today uh what stood out to me was the part that was talking about um uh, but basically right after he said that that it's hard for a rich man to get into heaven and stuff like that then he goes to say uh he says to his disciples, but with God, uh, basically with God, all things are possible. And, and I guess that what I received in that moment as I was reading it was that if you are a rich man with the heart of Christ, did, <laughs> I mean, it might, it might be easy for you to get into heaven, you know? Um, and that's the thing, the heart and mind of Christ was, you know, all, you know, healing, feeding, you know, uh, loving people, you know, things of that nature. And, we struggle with that, don't we? <laughs> we be struggling in that area. Um, Cause again, I talk about this all the time. Grace and mercy for me, and no grace and mercy for you, right? Um, and stuff like that. But anywho, so let's talk about this conversation, y'all. Cause you know, I don't want to be low y'all time. I'm already recording later than usual, and yeah, like I said, I got a, a funeral. Let's get ready to go to look a celebration of life, right? Um. So, the triumph of turmoil. How can we experience that? So, let's talk about these words. Turmoil, okay? It says, a state of great disturbance, confusion, or uncertainty. If that don't describe my last few days, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, I read that definition this morning. I was like, yep, that, 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 that's pretty much sums up what I feel. Um, and, yeah, it's been all of those things the past few days. Um Again, I've been healing, and since I've been home and stuff like that, it's it's been I, right, you know, but at the same time, it's still been a lot because, you know, it's been a lot of mental battle going on and stuff like that. Again, with all the different things, the combination of the things going on in my life, um, I still say started with that accident. I know my husband probably tired of me talking about it, but I'm like, you know, I just I I can't go without letting y'all know. That, I mean, I couldn't have not been here. It could have been two funerals for my family right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I know it didn't happen, and I'm grateful for it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm grateful for another day. I'm grateful, you know, uh, for everything. I'm, but I'm just saying that 
you know, I, I got to acknowledge that what the Lord has done for me, you know, and, um, and I, I got to share that testimony. That is a testimony. That could have been a head-on collision, and I need y'all to understand that, and, and it was not, and I'm grateful for that, and, um, and yeah, I mean, like I said, that was like the first little thing. Now, again, I had been going through stuff all last year. Even in the midst of Abundance 2023, I was going through a whole bunch of different little stuff, you know. Um, it was a great year, you know, a lot of good, good, awesome, amazing things was happening, you know. But at the same time, you know, some little stuff was happening or trying to happen um, and stuff. But um, I think in the midst of that, like, as I was thinking about all of this different stuff this morning and looking at this, all this different stuff this morning, I guess I just kind of also was reminded that... Um, Again, when you're going through stuff and when you are uh, experiencing these type of things, the Bible tells us about these things already. And I know I shared this over and over and over and over and over again, you know, but I mean, you know, we just need to remember these things when we're going through because, um, you know, if we take on the mindset that the, the Bible is telling us to take on and hopefully it will, again, encourage us and inspire us <laughs> to... Uh, keep going, you know, um, obviously again, you know, if I, if I'm going to look at this as a spiritual attack and things of that nature, so I'm a little trying to take me out. Right. And so it means, uh, you know what? Hey, why is that? You know, now, now listen, well, all during look, the cultivation period, <laughs> when I was out here, look, struggling, when thinking about the things of God, the way I was thinking about them now, you know, when I was doing all of that, I, I wouldn't, um, you know, facing these fiery darts the way I feel like I'm facing them today, you know, and, and, um, you know, I, I, again, these should just be reminders that, you know, hey, you're on the right track, keep on going, keep leaning up in the Lord and do his will. Because at the end of the day, again, no matter what the enemy do, we know who the winner always going to be, right? Um, so that's a beautiful thing. Speaking of, let's go ahead and talk about this word triumph. <laughs> it says a great victory of achievement. Ooh, look, that might be Pope for the enemy. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, you know, that that's what we stand to receive on, on, on the winning side, you know. Um, and again, I know it may not always feel that way. You know, again, I just look, y'all just spent three days with me again. Going through all of this stuff, and 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 it don't feel good to be boohooing everywhere you go, you know, and all kinds of stuff like that, right? But um, what gives me the joy today, right, to be able to to sit here and, and share with you guys that we can have victory, right? Uh, we can have again love, joy, hope, peace in the midst of trials and tribulations, right? We can be, um, you know. It losing, right? Um, you know, losing everything around us, just like Job, like lose everything, right? And still can somehow still have a love, joy, hope, peace. And um and again, like I was telling y'all yesterday as I was share with you guys about praying without having words, like these things is like unexplainable, right? It's like they're written in the Bible, and I'm sitting here trying to tell y'all my experience with it. But until you, I guess, you really experience it yourself, I mean, you probably won't really understand what I'm saying here, you know. Um, so, I mean, I I'm going to try to do my best <laughs> to keep, you know, trying to share and explain and, and describe so you guys can hopefully, you know, get on track to receiving whatever it is that the Lord wants to share with you and do with you, for you, and through you um, and stuff like that. But, um you, we really got to, you know, tap into all of this for yourself. And so with that being said, let's get into some of these verses, y'all. All right. Um, so <laughs> let's see. Um, I pretty much was led to go to openbible.info and um, well, ultimately go back there because I had started there. And then I, like I said, studied a lot of different stuff. But um, and I pretty much uh, put in counted all joy. And um, there's so many verses there that, honestly, y'all can just go and peruse all of those on your own. You know, let the Lord, you know, show you what he wants you to know with that information that's there. But, I mean, I'm just going to read a few of them that the Lord, you know, pointed out to me. 
and y'all can just again let all these things marinate on your heart souls and mind uh, the first one I want to share is James 1 and 2 it says count it all joy as uh, count it all joy my brothers when you meet trials of various kinds um, you guys can go deeper and read James 1 2 through 4 but I mean we got to count it all joy like I, I know that's hard to do. Like I said, even in, I just went through y'all and I'm still going through, you know, like I said, we, we, we celebrate my cousin's life today, you know? Um, so we are still going through, you know, I still got stuff going on in the back ends, you know, just stuff going on. Right. Um, but I can count it all joy knowing that again, all things will work together for the good of those that love God and, um, you know, and things of that nature. And so, you know, hey, that that's what the Bible is telling us to do. Y'all go deeper about that if you guys are struggling in that area. Um, let's see, here's another verse, First Peter 1 and 6. It says, in this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials. So, again, it's telling us to rejoice <laughs> through the trials. No, yeah, I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but see, I guess this is how we start to shift our mindset. Again, if we we try not to focus on the trial, right, and then try to focus on the Lord and try to focus on, I guess, the good things we have. Like, for example, okay, as I boohooed yesterday at the church, right, <laughs> and and my coworkers, they prayed with me and they and things of that nature. And I boohooed about the different situations and different circumstances and stuff like that. At some point, my boohoos turned to tears of joy. Why? Because here I am surrounded. Here I am covered. Here I am, you know, people praying. Here I am, you know, people showing and pouring out love. And that's a beautiful thing, right? And so, again, when we're shifting our mind, right, from the... From the trial, from the tribulation, from the thing, and, and seeing what you got, right? What what do I have in this moment, right? I saw that I was covered, and, and that and that was a beautiful, beautiful thing. And so even in the midst of that, that down, empty, sad, all that, you know, I was I was still covered. Physically, right, and that showed me that the Lord was covering me overall. And uh, and like I said, God had woke me up that morning and reminded me with the verses and whatnot. He had showed me that morning, I'm here basically. And then this morning, my, I'm here, such and such. And you are, this is wisdom X, Y, and Z, da da da. And this is growth for you, da 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 da. Like these, these are the things I was receiving this whole time, but at the same time, just going through, right, and um. So this this is what I say. Let's let's not lean on our own understanding. Like we go through stuff and we like, well, Lord, why, why? <laughs> Listen, I literally asked that question right before I met my husband. I, leaving the other dude, I'm like, why? And then, <laughs> then met my husband. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, and I can't make these things up. I'm just literally telling y'all my testimonies. Like I'm not listen. I, I, I write and stuff, but I mean, listen, I ain't that creative. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm as creative as the Lord has made me creative, but I, I'm being honest with y'all about like what's happened in my life and stuff. And so just trying to give y'all examples of what this looks like practically for look 2024 people. Um, but let me go ahead and give y'all some more verses, y'all, because I listen. I gotta go. I know I do. <laughs> so then we got Luke, y'all. Uh, Luke 6 and 23. It says, rejoice in the day and leap for joy for behold your reward is great in heaven for so their fathers did uh to the prophets now you guys can go deeper i'm sure there's more going on there but what really stood out to me to share a part of that is that part that's talking about you know uh rejoice that day and leap for joy now i don't know if i i don't know if i could put this into practice i mean i think I, again like when you're going through stuff right? I would really have to start practicing if I'm about to switch my mindset to just start leaping for joy when I go through something bad. Like, but 
how much would your life shift if you did something like that? Like, I don't know. Should we all challenge ourselves to do that? Like, something bad happened to you. You like, yes! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> would that help us? I, I mean, hey, you know, it might already, it might shift your countenance about stuff. You know, you like, people might think you're crazy, right? But, and then if you, if you have to explain, hey, you know what, I'm in good company. At the end of the day, look, each and every one of the prophets went through, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know what you got to do, but I mean, hey, maybe we all should challenge ourselves to, to shift again our hearts and minds when it comes to these things. And it says rejoice in the day and leap for joy. So that's that little challenge. Challenge for, for us all. <laughs> Let's get another verse, y'all. Uh, <laughs> Acts 14 and 22. It says strengthening the souls of the disciples, encouraging them to continue in the faith and saying that though many tribulations uh, we... I don't know if I missed some words there, y'all. So y'all go and make sure I wrote this down right. <sighs> through many, ah, through. <laughs> through many tribulations, we must enter the kingdom of God. You know, again, I don't know what, why we think that things just come so easy. Again, you know, <laughs> I, I, I always say it all the time. Here it is again. Look, first time for 2024. Christ himself. Didn't even get past suffering, you know. So, you know, who are we to think that we shouldn't suffer, you know, to, to some capacity? And uh, honestly, again, the Bible tells us that we are going to. Um, another thing that I was reminded of this morning is, I guess, you know, it look it's more strange. It should be more strange to us as believers, right? To 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 not go through. Like again, I went through. Like I said, uh, it's a whole amazing year. Like abundance 2023, whole amazing 2023 for me. Now, yeah, again, that still was ups and downs. And I'm still going through stuff and whatever. And still going through stuff now, right? But um uh, <laughs> not to say it's a part of life. You know, I'm not I'm not just saying that it's a part of even though yes it is, it's a part of this again fallen life that we in now, right? But um, but understanding that again, it, it, bigger things are happening, right? You're strengthening, you're you're building your faith. Like I'm over here trying to little exercise, you know. Again, I have to probably exercise more boldness in my life, more uh, whatever else the Lord wants to do with me, for me, and through me. By all these things happening at one time, and, and building my faith, and, and building my uh, everything right now. And who knows? I don't know what all this is going to do. But um, I know that, again, thieves don't steal from empty houses. And so if the, if this be a spiritual attack and things of that nature, then, um, you know, again, something must be happening with the things that the Lord wants to do with me, for me, and through me. And, um, you know, I guess ultimately the juice this morning is, again, we need to start practicing uh, you know, what we preach, y'all. I mean, this, this stuff is biblical, you know? Um, I'm not making this stuff up, you know? <laughs> this is what it's telling us we're supposed to do with, with our, again, trials and tribulations of life and stuff. And, yeah. I don't know. I guess sometimes it's hard to understand why we don't do what the word's saying. I think I got another verse. Let me see. Yep. Uh, it's Romans 5, 3 through four it says not only that but we rejoice in our sufferings knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character and character produces hope uh yeah man i mean like i said i mean i pretty much just already gave you the juice i mean look that's i guess how you could have some look uh uh, a triumph in the midst of the turmoil. And I hope you're encouraged and inspired to have that as well. Um, the Bible verse of today is 143, uh, excuse me, Psalm 143 and 10. It says, teach me to do thy will for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness, friends. I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love.
your daily dose of inspiration and juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow. If the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Everyone is stuck at home, but life is still happening around us every day. Birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, and celebrations. Send your friends and family the gift of wine from the comforts of home. Wine shop at home with Miracle of Wine. Wine, gift baskets, wine accessories, and more at miracleofwine.com.